Regina has often led the country with high crime rates, including gun crime. This is presenting somewhat of a different challenge at the city's hospitals. The director of the Regina Trauma Program says the city surgeons are seeing an excessive amount of gunshot trauma when compared to the past. We've looked at our gunshot uh, numbers over the last four years. And in 2015, we had 16 gunshot uh, victims. In 2016, we had 32. In 2017, we had 23. And to date this year, we've already had 17. Based on the trajectory, he expects the number to grow. Saskatchewan had the highest rate of gun-related violent crime of any province in 2016. That year, Regina had the highest per capita rate of firearm-related crime among Canada's major cities. And in 2018, Regina police statistics show there were 66 reported violent occurrences involving a gun between January and May. Dr. Rao says each bullet wound presents a unique challenge because the complexity and treatment needs are so wide-ranging. He leads a trauma specialist team as part of a pilot project. The team handles all severe trauma, including gunshot wounds. He says it's helped ease the pressure on the emergency room doctors and helps victims faster. Prior to our trauma program implementation, patients were often waiting in the eMERGE, i.e. trauma patients, we're waiting sometimes up to 15 hours. Now with our trauma program, we're asking for the bed for trauma patients within an hour. He says the trauma specialists lead the patient's care from tests to treatments and beyond the hospital, looking for things like post-traumatic stress disorder that might arise. The pilot project is supposed to wrap up in December. After that, they'll decide if the project should become a permanent fixture. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Regina.